My name's Tony Campbell. I'm born in London, England, and I came to America um, in my mid-30s. That's the Polytechnic at first for my um, BFA, and then I went to the Royal College of Art, um, which is a college just for graduate students um, in London, set up by Queen Victoria, actually. At that time was part of the Victoria and Albert Museum, which is still around today, as is the Royal College. So as an artist, um, I'm very multimedia, actually. Um, so I teach printmaking um, and photography, um, and that kind of reflects uh, my practice. Right back to when I was a student, I went to a college which was very flexible about the kind of um, medium you would work in. So I worked in painting, printmaking, and photography. Now I do some sculpture, some video, but predominantly photography and, and printmaking. What I like so much about printmaking is that you're never quite sure about the result. So there's always this surprise element um, to how what you imagine is going to happen does actually um, end up happening. So sometimes you get, you're pleasantly surprised and some things work in a better way than you expected. Um, but obviously there's downsides to that where things are um, you know, drastically the opposite of what you, you expected. Um, but the great part about printmaking is you can always um, backtrack a step and reprint that color, change that idea and save the print. It's that flexibility that I love. Coming to New Orleans, there's a very broad artistic spectrum of what's going on, which is really nice. There's music and there's art and there's theater and all of these things are quite in intermingled. And I, kind of, I really enjoy New Orleans because everyone is an artist, really. If you go out on Mardi Gras Day or any of those days, you can see everybody is being creative and, and it's great to be in an environment like that where everyone has agency to be an artist. Since Katrina, there's been a very vibrant um, fine art community happening. It's a very creative city and um, it's lovely to see everybody kind of using their creative skills and making a costume or whatever at different times of the year and, and kind of and showing their wares, going out there and, and you know, sharing that with everybody. I enjoy teaching. Actually, before I taught here, I was often um, teaching people printmaking, actually salt screen. Everybody kept asking me to make their band posts or whatever, and I'm, so I, it's better to teach people how to do it, and then they can make their own posts. So I was always doing that. It's enjoyable to watch someone kind of grasp something. It's um, a little difficult at once, but it's like learning to drive. As soon as you work out the mechanics of it, then that opens up the door to lots of creativity and lots of creative thinking. And, um, and I think f teaching art actually in general is even whatever your background is, whatever, whatever major you may be doing, I think it kind of is a different way of thinking and problem solving creatively. And that can be useful of, for you in other aspects of your academic career. Um, to think basically a little bit outside the box, and I think fine art helps with that. Mm -hmm.